we prepared all the cuts and the measurements to do this rebar cage. These are going to be the vertical rebar and these are going to be the stirrups which when they're bent look like that. So those will go onto that and make a cage similar to the ones that are sitting over there. Okay, we're gonna stop for today. We're gonna go down to the beach and enjoy the last moments of the day. We finished tying the stirrups. They're all right there. We're gonna attach them onto the vertical rebar tomorrow to make our rebar cages. Then work on the other two cages and hopefully start the footing. I should stop saying that it's a nice day on the Oregon coast because every time I do that, the weather turns bad the next day. So it's a little misty, a little rainy. We're gonna finish building the cage today and hopefully start the next two cages and uh, see how that plays out. We finished bending all these. I made a time lapse, but my phone died in the middle of it. Therefore, it did not work. So right now we're just doing a tie on each side to kind of hold the, the bar in place. We did a one foot overlap. I don't really think you have to, but we just to make it more easy for us to assemble, we did it like that. So we're gonna go ahead and finish tying these together. And then after we are going to install them every foot. So each white line will get a stirrup all the way to the bottom. And after that, we're done for today. We have the first stirrup tied on the vertical rebar and something that's kind of making it a little bit easier besides having two people working on it is to put a stirrup on the end to kind of make sure that the ones that you're working on on the top kind of hold their place. It just makes it a little bit easier to tie the stirrup in there. So we're doing these U kind of shaped ties, I guess you would call them. In proper term. This is also mine and Violet's first time ever doing rebar. I think it's going well. We've learned everything off of the internet as usual. <laughs> the endless sea of information. So yeah, just a little reminder, all you guys out there, don't limit yourselves. You can pretty much learn almost anything online. So get out there and do what you want to do, like us, doing rebar. So here's the final cage of this one. We went and attached a little concrete dolby at the bottom. We're gonna attach one to all four of the vertical number five rebar, but just to mark them as to which one is what, because we have 10 of them. If you can see in this little drawing that I did, we have 10 of them. They're all different uh, heights, pretty much. So we have to remember which one is which. That's why we did that. So here's that one. This one is number seven. So it's just about 11 feet, just over 11 feet tall. These are gonna be some pretty massive pillars, but we have a three-story house on a slope, so it's gotta be like that. So on to the next. Today, we are working on doing the footing for the rebar, and yeah, just kind of like setting everything up for the inspection and foundation, and measuring everything, and doing the cutting and bending the rebar for the footing. So here we got John Stamos, AKA Flo, and Viant. So we're just gonna clear the building site, figure out the rebar, create the cage for the footing and the ledger and the retention wall, and go from there.
So today, with John Stamos and Vian over there, we are going to build the footing for the foundation. That will go right there, set up the rebar, and possibly build the form for the concrete to be poured if we have time. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. Hopefully we'll get far enough to where we can start putting the cages in the, the pillar holes and go from there. the horizontal number five rebar that goes into the footing we have these little concrete dobies to keep them off of the ground right here where Flo and Viant are we are joining the two 20 foot rebar with another one to connect them so right now we're just tying that on there so it's secure and then afterwards we we're gonna go add the vertical rebar from the front to the back and go from there. So here we have all of the vertical rebar that will attach to the horizontal rebar and create the ledger and the retention wall. So right now we're preparing the horizontal rebar to attach them on the vertical ones. Teamwork! So here is what we got done with the footing ledger and retention wall set up. So we just have to attach the horizontal rebar to each part and uh, yeah, so this is what we got. Pretty massive, gonna be a pretty big structure for the foundation. I think we did a good job. Almost all of the vertical bars are level, so that's cool. And there it is, in all of its glory. All right, so we ran out of tie wire, but we got, actually it was kind of crazy, we had the exact amount of wire left to do the last bar right here that's horizontal. So we still have to connect these four to the top and I believe one more. This one on the ground right here, we have to put in the corner right there. So almost done. It's exciting. Good work. I feel like it's coming along nicely. After that, we'll build the form for the concrete so we can pour the concrete, pour the footing first the ledger second, and the wall third, and also prepare these as well, but that's next. On we go. So here we got the finished product of us working on the footing, and we got the pillars kind of set in place. Gonna pour a little bit of concrete at the bottom of those before we install the sono tubes so that they kind of stay in place. There's the form for the footing. And next step is pouring concrete. That's exciting. So the concrete truck the delivery truck is almost here. I don't know how much I'll be able to film and explain because it's kind of like we gotta get at it and do it as quickly and as efficiently as we can. We have the line pump guy here. So he, we're gonna pour the concrete into this machine right there. 
and then that runs down this line, down this hose, uh, over there, and then that's where it will come out. We'll take the hose, fill all this up, and then do the pillars after. Oh, so exciting. I thought this day would never come. It's finally here. So here we have the pillars, we've got a little bit of concrete and a few of them to hold the rebar in place before we set the final tubes and do that. There's the footing, all beautiful. And we're just working on filling, uh, filling the pillars and uh, then I guess we'll continue to do the finish of the concrete. Completion! Well, first part completed. Now we still have to do a few more parts to finish the actual foundation, but the first part is done. We have the, the footing poured. That's my little concrete ball that I made. There it is. There's flow. We got the concrete sitting in the pillars so that they, the rebar stays in place. So now we're just gonna clean up all the tools and uh, probably go rinse off a bit in the creek. So now we're gonna put our handprint and our paw prints in the foundation. Work team. Yes. Teamwork. 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 Team cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool 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 beans. 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 Cool be